Hey, and welcome to this video series where we're going to be uh, using several aspects of Azure and Office 365 to create a uh, very inexpensive chatbot. Um, and to do this, we're going to be using a, uh, in this first video, we're going to be creating an Azure static website to actually be the interface to our our, our chatbot. The reason we're using the static website in Azure is because they're, it's a fairly new feature. Uh, because it's free, it's super simple to use and easy to get started. So let's just go ahead and jump in and get started. Now what we need to do is we need to create a new storage account. Because uh, what this does, this allows us to create a static website out of that storage account and it creates a, a website endpoint for us. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to add a storage account. I'm going to give my storage account a new resource group. We'll call it Hillbilly Bot 2. We're going to have a storage account name, Hillbilly Bot. And then we will just leave all the rest of the defaults, do a review and create. And we will create that storage account. This will take just a couple of seconds. Okay, now that that resource is created, we can go to that storage account. And then under settings, we have the option for static website. So let's click on static website. Then we're going to enable that. And what it's doing is it's asking you what is the name of the file that you want for your uh, index file. So what, what's the name of the HTML file that you're going to display when, you, when the page loads. So let's stick with the old favorite of default.html. And then what is the name of the file that you want to use for an error? We'll just call that error.html. And we'll go ahead and save that. So by enabling static website and specifying those files, it automatically generates these endpoints for us. So we now have the endpoints for our website. Uh, the next thing we need to do though is upload our files to this storage container, uh, dollar web. So if we click on that container, we can, we can come up here and we can upload files. And this can be HTML files, JavaScript files, whatever static content we want to do for our website. And over here I have a, a pretty simple HTML file. There's nothing to it. It's not fancy at all. Uh, but as you can see, it's just a, a regular HTML file where I am referencing jQuery. And within that file, I have a text box uh, for a user to type in a query because when this does become a chat box, they'll say this needs to be the question they're going to ask. Um, and then we have a log on the screen where we're going to display some information. Uh, the next thing we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to attach to the key down event of that query input box so that we can detect when the user presses enter. So when they press enter, we want to do something with whatever they typed in the text box. So within that function, whenever the, after they press the enter key, we're just going to read the value that they typed in and we're going to display it back to them in, in into that log span that we have. So again, this is all the basis for building on layer functionality. This is a super simple web page where it pre presents a text box, they can type something in, press enter, and we're just going to display it back out to them. So we can come back into our web container and we can upload that file. So let's select that file, upload it, and we're done. That's all there is to it. We now have a website. So if we go to this endpoint, there is our web page, our super simple, really fantastic looking web page. If we type in some information in this query text box, what time is it? It just echoes back out to us what time is it. That's all there is to it. So yeah, so super quick, super easy, super simple. Uh, you could really take this and do some cool things with it if you wanted to create just a very uh, nice looking publishing site to, to publish some content on. Um, and also shouts out to the Microsoft Cloud Show. They're the guys who let me know that this was actually out there. I didn't know about it before they did. So thanks AC and CJ for that. Uh, so on to video number two. In video number two, we're going to be using uh, Lewis so that we can start determining uh, what a user's intent is when they type in a question.